How's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be talking about Mob Psycho, Mob Psycho 100, Episode 1. And it's from the same guy that brought us the One Punch Man. So, you know, automatic classic. Episode, I was not expecting this anime to be this good. Like, this has had me, this is funny. To me, this is probably the funniest anime since Kill a Kill. Like, it's, a, it's the subtle funny, but at the same time, it is like in your face, and it's quick, and it's fast-paced, but at the same time, it's hard to describe. It's like one of them good, good classics. You can tell it's going to be a classic anime. The part of um, the episode that had me dying the most is when I realized that all the, all the character, the, all the main, all the people in the main character's family look like Saitama. That part had me dying. I was like, oh man, stop this. It is funny, and the the main character may look like Saitama, but he's dumb like Genos because he has a dumb boss that's not even a psychic, but he makes money off uh, off a of mob. And that's a cool name. His name is Mob. And I guess he can use his power to a certain extent until he explodes. So, you know, here comes the Goku versus Mob scenarios. I can, I can smell him coming. I can see, get, get, quote me. There will be a Mob versus Goku fight. Not fight, but theory videos going on probably two or three weeks. I guarantee you. One of my favorite um, parts of the episode was when Mob was walking and you could see his aura. When it was introduced him, he was walking down the hallway in his aura. You can tell it's a guy that's just naturally badass. Like, he doesn't try to be badass. He's just naturally badass. Kind of like how Satama is. Another thing I found fascinating is the intro. Um, the music was okay, but the visuals really made you feel like you was on a shroom trip. Like, one of them good classic, like, what the hell is going on? I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the, um, the scene when the main bad guy was telling the story how he died, and it turns out him and his motorcycle gang slipped on banana peel. I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. This is just like one, this might be even funnier than One Punch Man. That's why, this is probably gonna be anime of the year. So far, what I've seen is the most impressive Especially when it comes to animation. You might as well enjoy the anime because I doubt we'll be getting a season 2.